you want a decent size log, this one's cut about six foot long. You need to start off with a log that already has some kind of a hollow. This one's not hollow, but it is rotten in the middle. If it's rotten like this one here, you'll just have to dig it out. Try and get most of the loose stuff out as you can. Once you've got the bulk of the rot cleaned out, you then have to roll it so the thickest part is at the top. And just jam a rock or something in underneath so it doesn't roll away. The next thing you want to do is fill it with a heap of sticks and light them. This is so the fire burns it out to the size that you want it. It all depends on how green the log is or how flammable the log is and how long it will take to burn it out to the size that you want it. This log here took three burns to get it to the right size. If your log's still got bark on it, you'll have to try and get it off. Some logs peel better than others. This one here happened to be fairly difficult. Once you've got it all burned out, it should look something a bit like this. Now that that's done, you might as well go and take it to where it needs to go and trim the ends of the logs if they've been cut a bit crooked. Next thing you need to do is make some sort of an anchor for the dog chain. Here I'm making a piece of 12 inch rod into a U shaped anchor which will be hammered into the side of the log. Because it's a half inch bit of rod, I need to drill the holes with a 7 16 drill bit. Before you drive your anchor in, you want to oil it up fairly well. And then just hammer it in, leaving enough room so you can easily attach the chain to the anchor. To protect the log from the weather, I like to paint them in sump oil. I'm just using an old mop to slap it on. As you can tell, I don't know my way around a mop very well. I'm just using a bit of corrugated iron on the back. Roofing screws seem to be the best to hold it on. You don't have to use corrugated iron, you can use anything you want, but this is just the quickest and easiest for me.
to stop a bit of the weather getting inside the kennel, you might want to close the ends of the corrugations. Now you've just got to tie your dog up.